Hi, this is Titus Gonmai. Today I am going to speak about sentence. What is a sentence? I hope you may know what actually is a sentence, but we shall see again here today what actually is a sentence. And now, when we come to the sentence, the definition says that a group of words that has a complete meaning in itself containing a subject and predicate. What actually mean by that? Here it says that a sentence is a group of words which is arranged in order so that it give a complete meaning in itself in which it contains a subject and a predicate. So that means, in simple terms, we can say that sentence is a group of words that make a complete sense. And this sentence, it can be categorized into four types. The first type of sentence is assertive or declarative sentence. So what is this assertive or declarative sentence? The assertive or declarative sentence is a kind of sentence that express fact, opinion and ideas. That means the ideas of someone or the fact that is going on or the opinion of someone is expressed here. For example, in Tagya, I go to school. This is a fact that I go to school every day. So no one can deny because I am going to school every day. So likewise, there are many examples that we can take. Like, Ram is a good person. This can be also taken as another example because this is my opinion that Ram is a good boy or he is a good person but just it's my opinion. I cannot definitely say that he is a good person but to me he is good and who knows maybe he may be bad for someone but this is just my opinion. So likewise, there are many, many examples that we can quote or we can take it. And so, the type of sentence that express a fact, opinion or an idea of someone, we call it as assertive or declarative sentence. And the other type, the second type of sentence is imperative sentence. Imperative sentence here, it is a kind of sentence where it express permit, command, or request. What do you mean by that? Here, in imperative sentence, the second type of sentence, it says that it express the permission of someone that has been given or the command that has been given or a request that has been made. So, we can take an example here, like, you can leave. So, a permission is given here, that you can leave. You can take a leave. Or the other example, we can say that get out of the class. It's a command. That means, you should get out of the class. A command is given. So this is also another example. Or we can also take the other example like uh, May I come in, sir? So this is also a request being done by someone. So when a request is being done, then that we call it as imperative sentence. And the third type, we are coming to the third type of sentence, interrogative sentence. What is this interrogative sentence? 
in the Ugarit Children's, it says that when someone or somebody asks poetry, or when a group of words it is arranged in such a way that it turns out to be a question, or when the group of words turns out to be asking something, we call it as interrogative sentence. And so this is the third one. This is the third type of sentence. We can take an example here, like what is your name? A simple word. What is your name? The question is being asked here about your name. And you should always remember that interrogative sentence it always ends with a question mark. That means this is a question mark, and this always comes in interrogative sentence. It should place at the end of the sentence. And if this is not there, then this is a wrong sentence. And so we need to use this interrogative mark to show that question is being asked. And now we are coming to the fourth type that is exclamatory sentence. Exclamatory sentence here it speaks about a sudden feelings or emotion. That means when a sentence is expressed to show a sudden feelings of someone or sudden emotions of someone then that sentence we call it as the exclamatory sentence and this exclamatory sentence we should know that it always has exclamatory mark we can take an example here like how beautiful is the sunrise in here the sentence always ends with an exclamatory mark. And this is a surprise line that someone expressed about the sunrise. Or we can take another example. Oh, look at the rainbow. See, in surprise. How beautiful is the rainbow? So, likewise, we can express many examples who so different sentences. I hope you understood what is meant by sentence and its types. And this we should know very clearly in order to have enough knowledge of the sentence and its types.